I get asked a lot how I can edit these videos so quickly to be able to post them out on YouTube. And whilst I'm filming these, I'm only ever using 4K footage. So how does my computer not slow down? The key to the workflow is by making proxies right at the very start. And in this video, I'm gonna be explaining exactly what proxies are if you don't already know, how to make proxies specifically inside Premiere Pro, problem that I've come across whilst creating shorts, and how to get around that by making your own proxy preset. So first up, what is a proxy? Now, if you're new to videography, then do not worry. I'm here to explain everything down to the finest details so you are all up to speed. A proxy is pretty much a low quality version of your footage. So if you shot in 4K or 8K and you want to get the sequence edited, color graded, all the effects thrown on top and not really have your machine bogged down because that's the most annoying thing in the world, then proxies will save your day. What you need to do is ingest the footage. That's where you put your footage through a certain program and it spits out low quality footage for you to be able to then edit. Then when it comes around to rendering and exporting your footage, it then uses that high quality footage which you shot with to make the final finished product. Therefore your export may take a while but your actual editing process will be a lot smoother. So let me show you how to make a proxy inside Premiere Pro. What you're gonna need is also media encoder to be installed on your computer. This is a project from a previous YouTube video. I wanna take the 4K footage from this and encode it or ingest it into a, I don't even know, I've, I've got no, what is it? So this is a project from a previous YouTube video. I'm gonna take this 4K footage and ingest it into 720p footage, therefore making it easier for me to edit and make things a lot smoother in the editing process. Obviously make sure you do this at the beginning before you start editing, but obviously I've already got the project finished. So what you want to do is come over to the media bin and select the footage that you want to ingest. Now you can ingest a lot of them all at the same time, or you can just do particular ones. For this one, I'm just gonna choose this file and you're gonna right click and then come to proxy and then create proxies. Now, if you're using a Mac, just changing it from H.264, which your camera will probably shoot in, over to QuickTime or ProRes, it will make things a lot smoother for your computer to work with. What you want to do is make sure that you choose QuickTime for format and then choose one of the presets down here. Now, I have my own one, which is the GH5 proxy preset, and you can use it for anything. It's something which one of my friends made for one of the GH5s at my previous job, gave it me, and now I use it for everything. Now, if you wanna make this kind of preset, then carry on watching this video because I'm gonna go through it very shortly on how to do that. What you want to do is choose the preset that you want to use and then make sure you save your footage somewhere. So I always have these little proxy folders inside all of my projects that I'm working with. Once you've found the folder that you want to store the proxies in, press select folder and then hit okay. And that will create proxy jobs, open up media encoder and start ingesting all of your footage. And once that's complete, all you need to do is press this little button here where it says toggle proxies. If you can't see that in Premiere Pro, just come over to the plus button over here, find the toggle proxies option and then drag that into the toolbar. Now something I've realized over the last few days is that when I've been filming YouTube shorts, which I shoot on this camera, obviously I'm shooting on my portrait mode. So when I go into proxies and make them into a 720p file, it just squishes everything together. And when you've got toggle proxies enabled, then you can't actually see the footage to be able to edit, which completely gets rid of the idea, which then makes having proxies absolutely pointless. So to get around that, I had to make a new proxy preset and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now. So the first thing you want to do is go to the footage, right click and then choose export media. Then as I've said before, you wanna change the format from H.264 down to QuickTime. And because I'm using 422 10-bit, then I change the preset down to Apple ProRes 422 Proxy. Now the next step is key. What you want to do is come over to the video menu and then untick the width and height. You wanna get rid of the link and then change the height to 1280 and then the width to 720. And on the left hand side, it will preview the footage for you so you know that it's not gonna be squished together at all. Then what you want to do is come up to the top and then choose save preset and then save that somewhere on your computer. Once you've done that, you can press cancel because you don't want to export the footage because you need to ingest it. And then you wanna load up media encoder. You want to come up to preset and then create ingest preset. Then come down to transcode files and destination. Make sure you choose format as QuickTime and then choose your preset in there, which is YouTube Shorts preset. You can then name this whatever you want. So we'll just call it YouTube Shorts. And then you wanna right click that and then go to export presets and then save that somewhere else on your computer. 
The next step is to go back into Premiere Pro, right click and then go to proxies, the same as before, create proxies and you want to add an ingest preset. Find where you save that preset and then open it and that will then ingest your footage into a proxy suitable for vertical filming. If you're wanting just a standard proxy preset similar to the GH5 one that I use like normal, then all you need to do is change the aspect ratio around so it's 1280 across by 720 wide and then save that, export it and save it and drag it back into Premiere Pro as an ingest preset. If you have any questions about proxies, then let me know down in the comment section below or let me know over on Instagram as a DM. Now, if you want to light your scene as well as what this is lit, then I recommend you watch this video right here. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content exactly like this. And if you do, I will see you right there. Thanks for watching.